Hey everyone, um, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I've not really put anything up for the last week or two. Um, I've been quite busy the last few weeks. Um, I have still been practicing also. Um, yeah, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. I've ordered quite a few um, flights off online on a darts website. Just all different shapes and sizes. And I just want to film a video for you to, so you can see what flight. I don't know how they sort of work and what ones suit me best and obviously I, I play with a standard flight, these are the RVBs, they're a bit battered but um, they're just a standard flight, I've been using them lately, that's really what I always use, uh, but I just want to try out a couple of different flights, so I've got the pear shaped, these ones here, uh, I think Glenn Durant used to use these. Uh, I've actually got a set of desserts here, the uh, pear shape ones, but we've got pear shapes, we've got orange kites, um, we've got another set of, what are these, uh, retina velos, they're a bit different again, and these ones, we've just got the Haro's retinas, they're like a real thin flight, so I just want to try these out and see how they go, and if I sort of recommend any of them for you to try out or I just thought I'd get a video together of these. I ordered them, they've been here for a while but I've just not got around to making a video so um, yeah let's get straight into it. Right so the first ones that I'm going to be using, I'll just to sort this. Um, the first ones that I'm going to be using are just the standards, these are what I usually use. Um, obviously I swap and change about with flights because Obviously, if you're practicing a bit, they just get battered. So every couple of um, every couple of few days, um, I just switch to flights. I got plenty of flights here, like the standard. So, um, yeah, let's just get straight into with these. They're just the standard REBs. So we just see how they go. Obviously, I'm used to these because they are my standard setup. My 60 is battered. I've got, like, I think it's the size of this in there. There's hardly any left, so the darts, if there's a couple of bounce out, I wouldn't be surprised because there's hardly any size left in the bloody 60. Obviously, these are just standard, so I'm expecting these to be going well, like what I want. So that's just nine darts there, obviously three tons, so that's tidy. Um, they're just the tidy ones that I usually use, the standard, uh, right, two seconds. Uh, the next ones, the next ones I'm gonna try are the Amazon, they're just Amazon normal per shape flights. Um, let's just tuck these on. Flights are not really too expensive now. Uh, I think I paid 20 pence a pack for these flights, so not too bad really. And uh, I just want to try them out for you a lot. Give me a second. For the last one on. I remember using Payship flights probably about five or six years ago when I was younger. I used to just remember just grabbing a set of darts and thinking, oh, I'm just going to. I'm just gonna have a go with these ones just because they were the only ones I could find. But yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm expecting. I'll let you know. I'll have um, nine darts with these and see how they go. They feel a lot lighter. I don't know why. They feel quite light coming out of my hand. I don't know. Maybe it's just not what I'm used to. Another three, just to see. I can see that dart is barely sitting on the board. But yeah, I don't really know what to make of these. Um, they feel quite straight when I leave my hand. Let's have another three. They feel quite straight when I leave my hand, but they do feel really light. Ah, 
Don't really know what to make of them. I may come back to them. Uh, let's check those there. Uh, the next ones I'm going to go with are just standard kites. Um, standard kites. I know I've played with these before, so it be interesting to see how they go. They're quite similar in sort of size in proportion to the uh, pear shape. They're similar in size. And then obviously if you put that next to the standard, there is quite a bit of a difference. Um, let's just chuck these on. I mean, just interested to see like how they fly through the air, like if there's any difference or uh, if any sort of, maybe one of them will suit me better than the standards, I don't know. Uh, but I see a couple of people like, um, I think Matthew Edgar, Matthew Edgar uses the retinas. I think he uses, and he calls them the slims. Um, and I watched a video that he done on YouTube and he said that they, you know, they seem to fly through the air nicer. Um, so yeah. We'll have a go with these. These are the standard kites. They feel quite small on the stand. Uh, let's have a few of these. Oh, a couple more. Let's just see how they feel. I told you it'd be a bounce out. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I knew it. I really need to change the board, but the um, screw on the back, when I turn it, there's two, two holes that I made. The one hole was already in, and we had to make another hole. So when I spin it, the hole will be on the other side. So I need to drill another hole, but I just haven't got around to it. So it's been plenty of bounce out. These feel quite nice. I feel like they're going through the air, but nice. Oh, another three. Might have to keep those. 180. <laughs> 60, 60, 60. These might be the new ones. <laughs> um, man, I'm quite happy with that. I wasn't expecting that with these, but uh, yeah, let's um take these and swap them. Um, two set of guns. Um, the next ones are going to be the, uh, Retina Velos. I'm not really sure what to expect with these. They really are different to anything that I've seen. Um, they're sort of like, a, a standard, but a bit longer with like, obviously the top bit being cut out. Um, so, I don't know, it'd be quite interesting to see, like, how they go through the air, um, be in this funny shape, obviously, you can see that when they're all one with the four points on the top. They feel really strange on the top of the dart. They just don't feel right straight away, so we'll see how they go through the air. Um, two seconds, let's just click this on. Right, let's go. So I've got the dots of these. Oh, I don't feel very good. They feel really sort of clumpy, like big, especially when they group in together, like the tops of the points seem to be hitting. Like obviously it's a lot. When the darts are going in, when they the two big heads of the sort of flights, the points on the top are hitting each other. They seem to be hitting each other a lot. Um, let's have another few of these. I'm not a fan of them. Definitely not a fan. They feel horrible in your hand as well when like, when you bring them back to your eye, it feels like really big. No, I don't like those. Not a fan of them. What are they? The red and have bare those. Not a fan at all. Um, I swap these out. 
And then the final sect is the Haro's Retina. So a little bit similar to those, but like I said earlier, these are the ones that I think Matthew Edgar's using at the minute. They are the Slims Retinas. He calls them Slim, so I call them Slims. Um, they feel really thin. I uh, don't really know how to describe these. Other than them being really thin. That's in, in comparison to that. So, they're a long flight. Uh, that's them to that. A lot longer than the kites. Um, the standards. And then the pear shapes. But yeah. I'm expecting these to be sort of... Um, I don't know. Um... What's the word? Like, from the front of the dart, I'm expecting a lot of sort of, the, instead of the darts going in straight, the darts to sort of, um, like, instead of them just going straight, I'm expecting them to sort of drop in as they were this, or potentially them to land flat in, more like a, like Justin Pike darts. Um, I don't know if anybody watched Justin Pike, but his darts literally land in the travels, like that, barely even holding in the board. Um, that's a lot to do with the le obviously the length of his point though. He don't use a standard point. His point is probably about that much further. His points are ridiculous. If you get a chance, have a little look at um Justin Pike darts. If you type it in on YouTube, you'll see how he throws. Every single dart he throws, it looks like it's gonna fall out. But uh, obviously it works for him. So right, these are the Velo uh the Haro's retina. Sorry. Uh, the slims. So I give these a go. I have nine darts of these. Yeah, exactly what I said. Because it's so slim on the top, the darts are landing in more downwards rather than in straight like my darts usually land. Um, that's obviously because with the standards, um. The standards have a lot more weight on the back of them because of the bigger flight on the back. Uh, let's just take one of these, take one of the flights off, and I'll show you. With that, it's really sort of flat coming to the back. This, you've got a bit more to it at the back. So obviously, um, when it's weighted, when it's going into the board, um, it's going in more straight rather than sort of front heavy, if you get what I mean. Um, I have another three with these. Uh, two seconds. I have another three with these and see how they go. And then we conclude the video on. Tell you which ones are my favourite and which ones are my least favourite. I'm in another three. So yeah, um, favourite to me, they're obviously not my own, um, these are the standards I'm usually using, um, obviously they are my favourite. If I had to pick another set to use, um, it would be the kites, because I think they are the um, sort of least change, if you get what I mean, so um, it doesn't seem so much of a change if I was to put these on. Uh, they feel quite nice on the darts and they're not too, like with the slims, like I said about, because it's really flat, these got a little bit more with the uh, sort of bumped edge. So it, it feels like you've got a lot more when they go into the board. Um, the ones that I probably wouldn't use and I wouldn't recommend are the Rhett and Avelos, which are these. Uh... So yeah, uh, I think the kites, I bought these, it's a dart accessory, I think it was about 20 pence a pack, so that's not too bad, and they do feel quite good quality flights, so uh, I'm just gonna, I'll have, a, I'll have a couple of throws with those again, um, a little bit later on, and I'll see, um, I think the standards are really where you gotta be going, um, these are the best flights out there, the standards. Uh, there are some flights then that you can get which are sort of 
three quarter standards so not all the way um not a full one of these but then like maybe a quarter off so they're a little bit smaller but they're not as small as the slims they like got a little bit more um so i could potentially try those out but uh no i think the standards are really where they are at the minute just the standard flight so i hope you all enjoyed and obviously we had a 180 in there with the kite so i gonna potentially give those another go to see how they go because they did feel quite nice um but yeah if you all hit the like and subscribe button and uh if there's any videos you'd like me to see like to see me do next uh any sort of uh darts related videos practice routines whatever just let me know and uh if i can do it i'll do it uh so yeah thank you very much all hit the like and subscribe button and um we'll see you on the next one thank you